Welcome back to episode 14 of the Quest for Everything. In my last episode, as you saw, it was quite long, and there was an abrupt cut in the beginning of that. It's because I was detailing this farm here, but because it was so long, I cut that part out. But in my next video, I'm going to post how I made this farm. But for right now, we're going to shout out the new subscribers. There's 15 of them, so it's been a while since I've done one of these shoutouts. So welcome aboard, guys. I've added you all to the wall here. Now, on my channel, there are... I have 97 subscribers. So that means there's only three more people who can get into this wall. So if you're watching this video, and you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Now today, because we got Silk Touch, thankfully and finally, in the last episode, we're going to go out, and we're going to grab everything that we need. And I need to talk to you guys about what to do next. So stay tuned, and we'll be in a mine. I found this spot the other day while exploring some of the caves, and here's our first victim, coal. Let's get a few of these, and let's explore. Now here's what I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, basically, since we have Silk Touch, the, the quest for everything is coming to an end. Basically, I'll have quested and gotten everything. So, my question to you guys is, what do we do next? Now, I have some options here. Basically, to either... Actually, it's, it's sort of options, but I want your opinion. But I, I sort of know what I want to do. I basically want to go onto a, a multiplayer server and do the quest for everything all over again except uh, make it a bit more difficult because in all honesty this this wasn't too hard there's some iron get some of that and but the the upgraded difficulty on this server will be that instead of getting like one of everything I need to get like a chest of everything so it's like a, a good long-term series and also it will be a whitelisted only server so just a bunch of youtubers will be on there so we can all interact and such so it could be interesting so that's what I'm thinking now you guys let me let me know should I continue this single player world or should I just focus on the uh, the multiplayer world cuz I love multiplayer servers it's always fun to see what other people are doing and that's that. So we'll just explore around here. This is quite the cave system. What do we got in here? Diamonds? No. It's a bunch of junk. Alright. So what do we need? We need gold. We need some redstone. And of course diamonds. There's a lot of mobs in this area. Maybe I should eat something. That sounded like some cave spiders. Nope, this is a regular spider. Oh, there's gold. Hello, creeper. Oh, don't blow up my gold. Alright, get some of this. That's quite enough. What level are we at? 23. So, let's just find a way down. Wow, that's a, there's just mobs everywhere. Look at all those creepers down at the end of that tunnel. Oh well. Let's just go down. Here we go. We'll just ignore everyone and everything. Look at that. And okay. This is working out great. So we'll kill you. Grab some of this. Thank you. And we'll grab this redstone. And... It's going to be a short episode today, because next episode, we'll go to the Victory Monument, put all this stuff in, and then I'll pretty much announce what I'm going to do, you know, based on what you guys said. But I, I think everyone's pretty happy with multiplayer servers, sort of like the Minecraft server. Uh, it's whitelisted only, a bunch of YouTubers play on it. You know, we can get some good projects going, a whole bunch of us. The only sad part is, what we'll lose the house, but in all honesty, I never built this house to be that epic. It's sort of a... I have no wood. 
that's it for torches. Let's get out of here. But like I was saying, the house was never built to be like super awesome. It was just temporary because I knew, I knew I didn't want to spend super amount of time on it. Anyway, you guys leave your comments. Thanks for watching.